Well, uh, it's been a been a few days. Uh, what's it like for you at the end of the year? Where's your mind go? What are your uh, your thoughts on the season after kind of taking a couple of days to kind of think about it? Yeah, it's 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 tough. It's always tough. You get a weird feeling after any season, um, and really, your mind doesn't doesn't go too far. Really, um, it still stings a bit, but you do have a few days to process everything. And um, yeah, you just you look back at your year as a whole and realize how long it actually was. So. Um, for me, it was a strange year and just uh, a delight to, to be here and finish the season here. I really enjoyed myself. So, um, yeah, so definitely there's no regret, but uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, some unfinished business, but that's how it goes. Yeah, I'm sure when you come here, you're thinking, hey, this is a team that could make a, a longer run. So probably uh, talking to a couple guys, it, you didn't really necessarily expect to be done this quickly, but it sounds like uh, you know you did enjoy your time here, and uh, it ended up being a, a nice little ending to your year here. Yeah, it was great. Um, something I'll remember forever. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I really appreciated everyone and the, and the guys, especially just a really good group. So, um, you know, definitely a group I'll be keeping tabs on. A lot of good, young, exciting players. Um, we go back a couple of months to, to when you got that opportunity to come back here. What were some of those feelings like to, to rejoin the organization? Uh, excitement was the first one. Uh, nervous, maybe not the word, but anxious. Um, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of feelings of you don't know what it's going to be like, but the familiarity was really helpful. Um, you know, I was it's just sort of unknown. You don't know how it's going to play out, but uh, I had a feeling I'd be really happy when it was when it was finished and here i am today and that's exactly how i feel for your off season uh you know we were just talking before the interview probably getting back to some normalcy after the last couple of years what do you usually do in the off season how do you usually train at where are you going yeah i'll go back to new york so my wife and i live there now um so we'll go back to long island and um i i train there in the summertime and we uh, i'm from calgary got a family there we'll go see uh spend some time in in Ontario, Canada as well and see my wife's family and, and travel around. But it's, you know, this is the, the strange thing about hockey. You can't really plan too far ahead. So uh, we've got some some time that we, we didn't budget for on our hands here. So we'll, we'll see what we do. But definitely uh, it's always good to get away from the game for a little bit, whether we take a trip or uh, catch up with family. But we'll see. We still get some plans to make. What's it like training in, in Long Island uh, from Calgary? So you probably never thought New York would be where you'd be training, but uh, you know, what's it like? What's the scene there in the summer? And you know, I'm sure there's plenty of guys that are there working out. Yeah, it's it's good. You know, I've got a lot of uh, close ties and good friends uh, on the island. So not something I'd, I'd ever thought that I would be living in New York, but that's home for us now. We love it there. Um, definitely, uh, it might always be home. We we really really appreciate it there and lots of good people so it's fun and it's a great place to be in the summertime especially there's um, you know the weather's great as long as it's not too hot and muggy but uh, there's there's plenty of stuff to do whether it's uh, beach going upstate um, or just just enjoying the weather did you have any personal goals entering the season that you can now kind of reflect back on at the end of the season I'm not a big guy on goals really I mean for me um, coming into the final year of a contract it, like many guys are always in that situation you're you're playing for what's next um, you know so for me it's uh, it's not really about the result it's about what you put out there you just you put your best foot forward every day and um, that's sort of the goal and try to give yourself the best opportunity to move forward and you know that's really the only the only goals I, I make uh, every year then obviously you know when you're when you're in the minors your goal is always to to get back up top and, and play there. So I, I got a little bit of that this year, but that uh, doesn't matter how old you are, that's, that's really the, the goal you're always looking for. I guess that kind of leads into, you know, how excited are you to have the opportunity to maybe seek out whatever you want, be, be in a situation where you can kind of look to maybe do something new if you want. Yeah, it's, a, it's exciting, it's scary. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see, where, see where things take us. Uh, you know, I love the game and want to keep playing. Um, See you chase that as long as you can, and uh, I've always had my mind on on what I do after, and it would certainly be uh, be within the game. So um, you know, I know it will I know it will include hockey in, in some respect, and that's exciting.